What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial, today we are continuing with the GTA 6 tutorial series and in this episode we will set up the bullet damage. It is going to be a very easy video to follow so let's get started. But first, before actually starting with the episode, I want to do two little things. The first one is also applying the aim offset that we did in the last episode to be also when we are not aiming, okay? So in the last episode we also kind of left it ready but because we didn't uh, set any conditions we could basically kind of break our spine right and kind of aim uh, looking back at the same time and it didn't look very good so what we're going to do is simply clamp the values so you know we cannot kind of break our spine like we have with our head look at as you can see so to do this let's go to our characters folder go to animations and open up our avp character okay and now here we're gonna go to the states of the rifle locomotion and then if we double click on idle you can see that is here right we left it pretty much ready so what we're going to do is plug all of this back again like so and i'm going to do the same with the walk and jog just plug this over here and then select all these nodes bring them up and then compile so if i now press play as you can see when i get the rifle i can rotate and break my spine as I mentioned. So let's clamp these values. So let's go to the event graph. And as you can see, this is the logic that we did, right? To grab the you know rotation of the character and then you know set the aim rotation. So what we can do for the Z is basically clamp the values. So we can use this really useful node which is clamp float, and then we can set a range. In this case, around minus 80 and 80 will be a good value. You will see. So let me plug this in move this a bit to the right then compile save and now if i get my rifle boom we cannot longer cannot uh you know basically break our spine and what we can do is basically you know set maybe a lower range maybe minus 70 and 70 and so on and like this it will basically look uh, a bit nicer right um you can play it with that to get you know all the values that you want but basically this is what we you know need to do right uh, so we can play around with the range to get a better number but now it is not broken which is cool then the second thing that we're going to do is that when we unequip and we're moving the you know kind of the uh, um, the legs kind of stay in position right so we need to split the body as we did with equipment so if we go to the jog states rifle locomotion then we can go actually into the main states okay which is here state machine and then in unequip, we're gonna do the same that we did with equip, which is this layered blend per node. So let's literally copy those two nodes and paste them because well, it's gonna be exactly the same logic. So let's plug this here. And now when we go ahead and equip, we'll go and then unequip also. Okay, that didn't happen. Why? Well, that's because um, we are blending the equip rifle with equip rifle once again. Let's delete this, plug it on blend poses, okay? And as you can see, we need to plug in the rifle locomotion cache pose, right? Because on the base pose, we need that over here. And now, that will work. Uh, I think actually we're using, yeah, using, sorry, the rifle locomotion, right? So let's use the rifle locomotion. There we go. So the lower part of the body will have the rifle locomotion, and the top part will be the unequipped. So we'll do this, and boom. Now that is working great. So now we can actually continue with the actual episode of today. So what we need to do is basically import a blood particle that we will spawn when we hit another character, right? In this case, we are going to be using this really cool free, okay, um, particle effects pack, which I will link in the description. So just add it to your Epic Games library and then press add to project. And now we have two options, okay? The first one is adding this whole you know set of particle systems into our existing GTA project or okay, importing it into another separate project and then only migrating that specific blood particle into our actual project. So we will not flood our project with unnecessary particles that we will not need and this is very important because if not your project will grow huge it will be a mess and it will have unnecessary particles that you will not simply use so this is actually what i did i already imported 
this um, you know particle system to this other project which I have. So I do recommend to do the same, basically import it to another project that is using the same version of Unreal and then we can you know kind of export only the blood. So if you want to kind of skip this, you can just you know import it to your GTA project, but I do not recommend it. But you know if you're just doing the series for fun a bit, it will be totally okay. But in my case, if you're following kind of my migration, what we need to do now is just go to the particles folder in the you know pack folder and then go to blood and you'll see it here. So we can just right click, go to asset actions and then select migrate. And then it will automatically detect all of the dependencies like the textures that it would need and so on. Because of course, it's not only one asset, it is all of the other things like the materials and, and that stuff. So we can say okay. And so then we can navigate to our actual GTA you know, um, project folder and then enter in the content folder where we have all the assets and so on and then say select and there we go now uh, it is gone but it's actually not gone if we open up back again is here uh, it will actually be on the other project and boom you can see that we have it here and under particles we have blood if we drag it in you'll see that nothing will happen that's because it's compiling shaders and we drag it once again and there we go it is here it looks very very cool so now with that said we just need to you know apply it when we do damage to something in this case, we still don't have nothing to apply damage to. So what we get to do is create a simple dummy that we can, you know, add some damage into. So let's open up the blueprints folder, right click, go to blueprint class, and let's select character because, well, our dummy will be a character, right? It will have a um, capsule collider, a character mesh, and so on. And this will be something as BP underscore dummy, okay? Let's open dummy up. And now we can just go to mesh and just apply a mesh. For example, to change from the main character, we can apply this time Quinn, right? Quinn simple, and then put this to be minus 89, and then minus 90, so it'll be with the correct orientation, and so on. And then with that said, we can, you know, apply the ABP character um, animation, but we will have a lot of errors, okay? So actually, we won't want that. For now, let's just leave it as empty. It will not have animations, but it's just dummy for now. Now with that said, let's go ahead and just drag this to our world, as you can see. Let's make a face. And now if I press play and I equip my weapon and shoot, as you can see, it is actually, you know, uh, impacting. But it's not impacting. Why? Because the line trace is not set correctly, okay? So what we need to do is go into the mesh, okay, of this dummy, go down to the collision settings, and then set this to be custom and then on visibility set it to be block because that's the trace channel that we're using for our gun if now i shoot there we go you can see like a red point right you see that red point that's because we are impacting so now what we need to do is simply use apply some blood if we are impacting with a dummy or whatever right but first of all let's apply the damage system now the cool thing, if we open up the BP player, is that Unreal has its own damage system implemented. We don't need to create our own interfaces or custom events to do so, we can simply use the Unreal integrated one. So if we go to all of the firing you know, system, go to the animation, and when we do the line trace, right, to detect the enemies, you can see that we are spawning this kind of um, you know, bullet impact on the concrete and so on. And then what we can do is also get the hit actor right the actor or the pawn or the character that we have um, basically detected and now from here we can use this unreal node which is the apply damage and it will automatically send a damage event to that head actor which in this case will be the dummy so let's double click this to just kind of make it more organized and then very important we need to pass a base damage in this case let's just put a number like 10 right so every bullet will do 10 of damage that's a lot maybe but you know this is just testing okay to have a value for now and basically you know our dummy received a damage event with a base damage of 10 so now if you go to the dummy and go to the van graph delete all of the necessary stuff right click and say any damage you can see that now this will be triggered when well it receives damage and we have as a parameter that specific damage which is very cool so what we can do is now create a simple health 
variable, right? This will be just health, and let's set it to be a float. Now this will be temporary because we will probably have a, pr a proper player stats component. But for now, let's just make it simple health. So we will just subtract it with the incoming damage, right? That the player is setting with the bullet. And I'm gonna go ahead and set that new health and update it. And then we're gonna make sure that if the health, right, is lower or equal than zero, our dummy will basically go ahead and die. So we can just get the mesh and set simulate physics. And set it to true. And with that, all the bones will be simulated and it will rack to, to the floor like Euphoria physics kind of, you know? Not of course with the same level of quality, but you get the idea. But there's a very important thing that we need to make sure in the mesh collision settings, which is on collision enabled to be collision enabled query in physics. So the bones will actually interact with each other and the rest of the environment. And then another very important thing is that we need to set a base damage for the health, for example, well, 100. And with that, we can actually test this out. So if I were to press play, equip my rifle, and fire, boom, there we go, it racked those to the floor because we are sending 10 of damage to that hit actor. And then on here, when it receives damage, it will subtract the health. And if it's zero, it will, you know, apply the ragdoll. And all of these custom events are, well, interfaces in this case, are done by a Unreal's damage system, which is very, very cool. And now the only thing that we need to do is apply damage, right? So if the hit actor basically is, um, you know, uh, I want that we want to apply damage, we can do that. So we can do hashtag, okay? And then if it has tag what? Well, for example, um, it is a, um, it has a tag of character, so we can apply damage, okay? We will apply that new uh, particle blood particle effect. So we can simply just copy this node, right? Spawn emitter at location, and then select dot blood that we just imported. And then we can apply the impact point uh, to the location. And then with the rotation can be this make rod from X that we used for the bullet uh, holes, right? And then we can experiment with the scalings and so on. But very important, we need to add that character tag. So we go to dummy, class defaults, tag, go to the actor tag, and then just add character. Now very important, it has to be written exactly the same. If not, it will not, you know, detect it. And now if I go and shoot, which is the blood coming out. It's not very noticeable, but let me also deactivate the mm, the bug type for the lion trace so we can see a bit better. But basically, there's some blood coming on, okay? We can maybe add a bit more by just, you know, increasing the size to 0 0.5, 0 0.5, and 0.5. Maybe that's too much, but we can play around. And now we can just shoot, and there we go. We can see a bit more blood. So you can play around with those values. But basically, that's pretty much it. Now we can, you know, go ahead and you know, interact with our other pawns in our world, right? And, you know, apply damage. And of course, later on, when we have proper civilians and police AI, this will look way, way better. So that's it for this tutorial. If you have found it helpful, I would really appreciate it. If you like that video and subscribe to the channel. Remember that you have access to the prayer files through Patreon or YouTube members. Um, check out my new course with Game Death TV on how to make a stealth game with Unreal Engine. Join my Discord server, follow me on my socials. And now, yes, with all that said, bye bye.